Welcome back to Book Break. Today we have got a brand new book tag for you. This is the Winter Traditions book tag and as always we would love to see your answers, whether you want to write your answers in the comments below or film your own video and send us the link, we would love to see. Your first task for the Winter Traditions tag is to wear a festive jumper or accessory. I am doing both. And then question one is what kind of books do you traditionally like reading in winter? And my answer to this has to be cosy crime. I am such a big cosy crime fan. As soon as the weather gets cold, the nights get dark, this is all I want to read. We do actually have a whole video we made on cosy crime, so I will link to that below if you want more recommendations. I've got here an old favourite, Murder at the Old Vicarage, A Christmas Mystery by Jill McGowan. Question number two is, do you have any traditions that you read every year? So for me, the answer has to be The Night Before Christmas by Clement Seymour. Every single Christmas Eve, ever since I was tiny, my mum read us The Night Before Christmas and then we would rush outside, look up into the sky and see if we could see Father Christmas going across the sky. And even though I am now nearly 30, years old, we still do it every year. Question three is new traditions. Are there any books or genres that you read for the first time this year that you think you're going to make a tradition of every year from now on? So for me, I'm going to say just Christmassy books in general. Obviously this year isn't the first time I've read a Christmas book, but I haven't usually made that part of my whole Christmas reading schedule. I've been too busy with my cosy crime. But this year I've been really enjoying books actually set at Christmas in the snow. I've got here The Lotteries More or Less by one of my favourite authors, Emma Donoghue. This is actually the second book in a series about this huge blended family all living together in a massive house. So so it's very cosy actually reading about Christmas and I think I'm going to do it every year now. Question four is future traditions. What are you planning for your reading goals in general next year? So I'm just planning to read a bigger range of genres. I haven't always been that good at stepping outside my comfort zone but I really want to try because it turns out even though I think of myself as someone who doesn't really read fantasy or sci-fi, I've really really enjoyed some fantasy sci-fi books this year. If you want to do the same thing I will link below to a bunch of videos we've made starting people off with beginner recommendations in various genres. I think that's what I'm going to be doing. For the next question, we want you to go back in time. Can you find a Christmas or wintery book that was published the year you were born? So I had a look for books published in 1991 and I found a really adorable looking book called The Christmas Day Kitten by James Herriot. So James Herriot is a vet whose memoirs are absolutely beloved by animal lovers. They've now been adapted into a TV show, but I haven't read The Christmas Day Kitten and it looks so sweet. Apparently it's based on a true story from James Herriot's time as a vet and it's about a stray kitten finding a new home on Christmas morning. Next I want you to find a Christmassy or wintry book that was published the year you started your booktube channel or bookstagram, or if you don't have a channel of your own then find one published the year you started watching booktube. So I wasn't sure what to use as my start date because I had started quite a few different book blogs and bookstagrams before but I started here at book break in 2018 so that is the date I'm going with and in 2018 we published a book called Christmas a History by Judith Flanders which is a non-fiction all about the history of Christmas traditions. And then my final question for you is if you had to give one book to everyone for Christmas this year what would it be? And I am going to pick for this Dear Reader by Kathy Rensenbrink. This was my instant answer to this question. It is such a beautiful book. It is such a gifty book and I absolutely loved it and wept when I read it. It's Kathy Rensenbrink's memoir told through books. The different books she read at different points in her life and the comfort and joy that they brought her. It is absolutely delightful. I think it would make such a good Christmas present for everyone this year. But I would love to know your guys' answers, particularly to this question. If you could only give one book to everyone in your life for Christmas, what would it be? So do let us know your answers in the comments or in your own video or social media post. Anyone who sends us the link to their video, we will add you to our playlist of all of our original tags and everyone who's done them. I will link to that playlist here so you can go through for inspiration if you want to try out any of our other tags. And I'll see you next time.